Spark Video is a great tool for recording your presentations. When you first go into spark.adobe.com, you can log in. You can see that they have different formats that you could start with. I've already started this one, so I'm going to start from where I left off. You can see that I have certain slides from my slideshow already in. And inside here, once you have a board ready to go, you just click on the red microphone. You can start recording. Oh, you do need to allow it to record. But one more time. Storyboarding is when you plan out what your video is going to look like before you even start filming. So it's a good way to pre-visualize how it will look. Once I have that recorded, you can preview that slide. Storyboarding is when you plan out what your video... So let's look at how I imported these in. Back in my presentation software, in this case Google Docs, I'm just going ahead and clicking on a slide. Say I want to export this slide. Go to File, Download, and I'm going to download as a JPEG. Now back inside, I will add another slide. I'm going to move it to the end. I'm going to click on this and insert the photo. So I'm going to upload. Here I can see that, that I just exported and now it will be inside my presentation. You can also add, if I wanted to add text and other things as I go, I could go ahead and do this as well. So I do want the background to remain the same, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert a photo that I'm gonna create right here of an empty background. So here I'll go and download as a JPEG, nothing but this blank slide. Now here, click upload, and I can use this as my background. And then in here, we could add some other text if I wanted to, new text, or if I wanted as well, we could add in an icon. Once you've recorded all your slides and you've added the audio to each slide, you'll be able to preview what storyboarding you so is when you plan out what your video. If I'm happy with what I've got, I can download this. This just takes a minute. And now you can see the video has been downloaded. Now, I'm gonna close this. Say I wanted to make some changes to that, I would need to re-download a new version of this. The only thing I would look at here, and since I'm utilizing this background, I would not change the theme. I probably won't resize at this point, but I do wanna add some music. So you can go into the music and click on something that would work for you, How about a horror movie. Now I've added that in. If I were to hit play, You'd hear that if I preview. Storyboarding is when you plan out what your video. And again, I can download that as a video clip that I could upload and utilize anywhere I'd like in my canvas, in my YouTube, wherever I need that.